Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video today. We, as usual, we're going through a bunch of different topics just for you guys. And we're going to start off with Antonio Rudiger has rejected his latest contract offer, but there are still hopes that this one can come through. We're moving on then to Chelsea looking to sign up a Barcelona defender who we have already apparently offered a contract to. And then finally, we're going through the fact that Tammy Abraham is looking to return to the Premier League and make his mark at Chelsea. Let's get into it. So, as promised, we're starting out with Antonio Rudiger rejects new Chelsea contract offer with near to £200,000 a week as Man United monitor developments. Now, ignore the Man United bit, there's a few different clubs that are basically after him. Man United, I think Real Madrid was one, but they couldn't offer enough. Um, PSG, there's a bunch of clubs, and I don't think Rudiger is really interested in going to any of them over Chelsea, assuming he gets his money. As you can see here, 200 grand uh, per week is what Chelsea have apparently offered this time. Um, it says that, you know, we first went for 140, he didn't fancy it. He's currently on 100, so 200 would be doubling his wages, but he's wanting more. From what I've seen, it looks like he's looking towards about 240 grand a week, which, you know, basically, if, we're, if Chelsea are willing to offer 200, there's no reason why they shouldn't be going to 240 or I think 225 is another, another number I've seen thrown out there. Basically, I see this is going to happen. Chelsea are just trying to squeeze, you know, this negotiation down as far as it can. And Rudiger is trying to keep it as high as it can. That's all that's happening. And I'm pretty confident that Rudiger, Rudiger is going to be one of the players that stays on. Christensen and Aspi, there have been reports coming out over the, the last day or so saying that the club are pretty confident that they're going to keep these guys on board. I know the issue with Aspi is he wants an extra year on that contract. And Chelsea, obviously, with the over 30 sort of stuff, they don't like to do that. Christensen is more of a, I know there was a lot of sort of a morality thing in that Chelsea were annoyed that he changed his mind after agreeing on something and all of that. So that one might be a little bit more complicated, but I'm pretty confident Rudiger staying. I could see Asby staying. I think Christensen could be the one to go. And as you can see here, you know, Rudiger talking about staying at Chelsea said, I'm fully committed, like always down for the course at the end of the day. It's between um, my side and the club. You need to listen to the misses and he said that you know his family the kids kids were born in london so it tells that the family would feel great here basically if rudiger wants to stay he just wants his bag and i don't blame him for that and he deserves it because he's currently one of the best defenders in the league so there's no reason he shouldn't be getting paid just like the best defenders in the league so on this one i'm not too worried i think it'll come through but as it says here we are down to the final five months so chelsea need to tread carefully and not push their luck too far then the next topic we've got to go through here is Barcelona defender has much better contract offers from Chelsea and Man United. Now, of course, Man United involved in most transfer dealings. I feel like their name just gets thrown in just for the sake of clicks. But it says that Ronald Araujo has much better contract offers from Premier League giants Chelsea and Manchester United than what has been offered by the Catalans. So, of course, Barcelona aren't looking to pay the contract that he wants we know they've gone through so many financial issues over the past couple of years and have been mismanaged so it makes sense that other clubs are looking to sort of pounce on this and say okay well this guy clearly wants to be paid whatever 180 grand a week Barca are saying we can only afford 100 mate like we're, we're, we're broke as and then Chelsea and Man United and such can swoop in and say yep we'll give you that contract offer just, just come on over to London we'll uh well in Chelsea's case um we'll sort you out so, you know, if Chelsea are really looking at going for Ronald Araujo, what are we looking at here? Well, a contract that runs out in 2023. So there really is there's like a year and a bit left on this. Um, so you're looking at, you know, he's either going for a free at the end of that or at a cut price. He's currently valued at about 31.5 million. Um, Uruguayan international, seven caps for his country, very tall, 1.88 meters. And still very young, 22 years old. So you're looking at a player that, you know, is going to grow and develop. We've seen, you know, a prime example at Chelsea is Rudiger. You know, when he first came, there was a period with, especially under the last sort of regime with Frank Lampard, that we all wanted him gone. But he's grown, he's matured, and look at him under Thomas Tuchel now. He is shining. So we've got a player here that can definitely improve on what he's already showing. Generally plays centre-back, but can move to right-back. That seems to be a bit of a theme for, um, for a lot of the centre-backs that Chelsea are looking at at the moment. Of course, Kunde being one of them. Um, right footed, you know, been at Barca for a good few years now and generally seems like a pretty good player. 24 appearances, 2 goals, so you got a bit of a bit of a threat from, you know, set pieces and things like that from a centre back. And overall, I think this is one I'd be fine with. If Thomas Tuchel wants him, then who am I to say let's not, you know, I can have my opinions on it, but 
Ronald Araujo. If if this is what Thomas Tuchel wants, then let's go for him because he can. I'm sure he's got a good eye for spotting good talent. And of course, if he thinks he can mold this guy into some sort of Premier League legend that'll take us back to winning titles, then I'm all for it. So let's see what goes on with this one. Chelsea offered a contract, apparently, probably not you know officially because his um, there's a year and a half left on this essentially. Um, but we are looking, you know, Chelsea have agreed a verbal term and said, look, this is what we'll offer you if you decide to come to Chelsea. So we'll see what happens there. And then finally, we're covering the Tammy Abraham situation. Of course, you know, he has left the club. It's a bit of a weird one, but player wants to return to Chelsea through the front door. Lewis can get deal done for 80 million euros. Um, and as it says here, it's Tammy Abraham. You can see pictured here in this newspaper. Um, it explains the 80 million euro buyback clause, um, which, you know, given that he was bought for about 40 million plus bonuses, um, we're essentially paying 40 if we want him back, depending on, you know, how those bonuses have been allocated and whether he has triggered them and all that sort of stuff. Um, Chelsea will end up essentially getting their money back and then paying 40 million, which would be pretty fair for a player like Tammy Abraham if this goes through. But it says for Abraham, this being triggered would be great because he would like to go home one day through the front door to conquer the showroom of his Premier League. Now, I think that just sort of means sort of like, you know, we thought we were getting with Lukaku coming from Inter. Like he, he has unfinished business. He feels like he had what it took, but was maybe not trusted, wasn't believed in and that he was um wasn't you know was sh shut out unfairly and he wants to come back one day doesn't necessarily mean soon but it could be given that Chelsea is struggling you know up front and sort of show his worth to Thomas Tuchel because he never really got much of a chance to show it and it says we have to wait and see if this happens but if that does happen you know it, it, it would have to be in less than 12 months time I know well, that's the wrong way around we have to wait 12 months until that deal kicks in um, but basically, you know, on this one, I'm torn because we've seen players go to different leagues and they perform and then when they come back to the Premier League, they're not quite it. We've seen players that, you know, we thought were great abroad come to the Premier League and they struggle. It's a different physical league. Maybe Tammy just isn't up for that. Maybe it's something that, you know, he will uh, at some point when he grows as a footballer, he's still young, will be able to handle and will be able to bang in 20 plus goals a season for a Premier League club. And I do think Tammy Abraham probably will come back to the Premier League at some point whether that's a Chelsea or not I don't know but I'm open to it you know I, I don't think Thomas Tuchel really rates him so if me saying this probably means it's not going to happen but if Tuchel thinks he can get the best out of Tammy Abraham Tammy Abraham stays you know at Roma for another year or two maybe if he really does start hitting some crazy numbers Chelsea decide you know what we'll get our money back throw a little 40 on top and we're good we've got a, a top striker back at the club I for one never wanted him to be sold so this one for me I do kind of want to see him back at Chelsea but I also understand that the numbers he's setting in the Serie A don't translate to the Premier League so it's a tough one to judge. Let me know what you guys think on this one because I think there'll be a lot divided and I think there'll probably be a lot of people saying it's Serie A just leave it we've seen Lukaku hit good numbers there and at Chelsea he currently isn't so let's just leave him do his thing have his career there and maybe one day when he's 28 29 he can go back to Chelsea but who knows um that is going to be the end of the video though guys if you did enjoy please be sure to leave a like on it subscribe so you stay up to date with all my future videos and I'll catch you again in another video goodbye